Hello everyone, this is Tcrypt and this is the third video in the buffer overflow for OACP video series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through finding the, the bad characters and before that, most importantly, controlling the EIP address. So from our previous video, we found um, the pattern match uh, offset at 524 bytes. So which means that our EIP lies at the 525th position. So what we did is we edited the control EIP uh, script and we made this change where we put A into 524, which means we will put 524 A's and B, we're going to have the B's written after the A's and we're going to have four A's. So this four B's should be uh, what the EIP should be pointing to. So if you're going to look at the hex debugger, uh, it's going to say x42, right? And the remaining uh, characters are filled with Cs. So in this script, we are going to execute the script and make sure that we are indeed able to control the return address. So just make sure the application is running and execute it. So Let's go back and we can see that we have an access violation at 42. So these are the hex equivalent of the character uppercase B. We sent four Bs, so we, see, we are seeing four 42s here. And if you want to take a look into the, at the stack, just right click on ESP's address and follow in dump, you will see the four Bs that we put. So with this, we, are, we can confirm that we are able to control the EIP address. So what that means is be, be basically saying that I'm able to put whatever I want in, in the area pointed by EIP, right? So let's move on to the next step, which is to find the bad characters. Um, I'm going to start this application and make it running and go back to my attacking machine and create two, uh, create a binary uh, file for the bad characters as well as create another script that will generate those bad characters. So I have already done those scripts. So let's take a look at the bad underscore binary. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll take a look at the gen underscore bad first because that's that is what is going to create our bad characters. It's a simple Python script that is going to loop over the range from 1 to 236 and write out the bad characters uh, for us, right? It's not the bad characters, it's just the list of characters that we are going to iterate over and find out, find out which of them are bad. So let's run the script and make sure we are getting the list of all possible characters and from here we can see we have one two three until the ff so we have 256 actually 255 we have intentionally omitted the zero because zero is a known bad characters uh, as it tends to break the string um, in which we are sending the exploit right so strings or terminated by a null character which are zero in C program. So if we send a payload that has zeros, it is going to preemptively break the shell code and your shell code might not get executed as you expect. So that's the reason we have omitted the zeros. What you have to do is copy this and we're gonna have another script to generate a bad characters binary file. I will tell you why we are doing it. So Let's take a look at this file, bad uh, underscore binary dot pi. And I have already pasted the contents into a variable called bad. And I'm creating a file called bad dot bin and writing it in binary mode, which means the, the usage of WB as opposed to just W. And once you execute it, you'll find a file like this on your current working directory. So this file we're going to use to compare with what we are going to send 
to the application so let's just first execute um actually let's create another script that will actually send those bad characters so i have already created and it's the number four bad characters.py and if you can see i have i have pasted my bad characters the, the potential bad characters to iterate over in this buffer variable at the end where we had included the c's earlier so we are sending a's and we are sending 524 of them and we are going to send the b's and we are going to send have uh, we're going to have four of them and the remaining will be the bad characters so if you look at the debugger you should see no difference except for the part where you you saw c's this should be written by overwritten by these characters enough said let's try to execute this so we have sent this payload and like i said we don't see any difference in terms of the 41s and 42s because we know that we did not modify it but however if you look at the esp we don't have the c's that were showing before because we sent the characters hex characters from 0 to ff in the place of c's so right click against the address pointed by esp and click on follow and dump you can see the hex values that you sent from 1 to 3 and to ff right so here you might want to note all the characters that are missing the from the original script that you sent right here's our the b's and the c's are overwritten by this but in this case eyeballing this through the hex dump is a lot more prone to error and we don't want to spend a lot of time eyeballing this so that's why i'm gonna have to use this bat.bin file which i can import into debugger using uh, something called mona so please google about how to install mona into immunity debugger it's pretty straightforward it's a python script that you have to place in your immunity debugger uh, installation location so you invoke that by this command exclamation mona so yeah so it's a mona.py it's a python script so let's go back and let's close this one and first import that bat.bin into our windows system so for that i'm going to use python simple http server uh, or in python 3 it's just http.server i'm going to listen on port 8000 and in the windows machine open the internet explorer navigate to the ip of the attacker machine which is 192 this one so i download it by clicking on it and just saving it since i have already downloaded the file i have an extra file called that one.bin but never mind we're going to delete the old one and we're going to use this take this and go to the directory where we have the brainpan.exe delete the old file rename this one so you won't be having the old file on your side when you're trying to uh, do it for the first time it's just the leftovers from my previous attempts so don't get confused by that so once you have it in the directory that you want it to be just copy that path and go to the immunity debugger and type this so exclamation mona space compare and we're going to compare what we're going to compare the esp so we're going to have dash a esp with what we're going to compare with the file we just downloaded which is dash f and the paths to the file so once you click enter you will if you had any bad characters or if the if the script identified any bad characters it would show up in this region 
And obviously, in our case, we don't have any bad characters. Um, so I guess we are good with uh, the next step. However, I don't want you to leave without actually seeing what what you could expect on this um, on the on your exercise, right? So what I'm going to do is introduce a bad character uh, called let's 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 do this, right? Just close this and open the script badcares.py and let's add the zero, right? Like I mentioned before, it should be bad character and it should be flat. Save this and before that, remember to regenerate the bad uh, binary dot bad dot bin using the script bad underscore binary. So let's regenerate this one and execute it so that we replace the the old file that we have in the directory and as usual first thing copy that over to the windows machine by just refresh copy it so let me delete the old file and copy the new file over to the directory and let's rerun the script uh the application so i clicked the, the re rewind button here and click s and once you see it's running just go back to your attacker machine and execute the bad cares uh cares.py again so you should see no difference at all except the fact that you have now introduced a bad character so right click so if you see this, just click and drag towards right, and you will see the registers label. So right click on ESP and follow and dump. And you can see that after the Bs, we are supposed to see 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, but after zeros, we don't see the 1, 2, 3s that we used to see before because zero was a bad character it actually truncated the entire strings that you sent so even the, now at this point if you try to execute this you can see it's saying corruption after one bytes so it's not showing up the bad characters because it was uh, it could not find any characters that we sent besides the zero so it just displays the one bytes uh, error. Speak, if you notice in your CPU monitor window, so just click view CPU. We don't have any hex bytes that we sent after zero because since zero is a terminating uh, character in C program for string, it terminated uh, the string at this level, right? So that's how you find the bad characters. In my next video, I will show you how to find the jump address and followed by that, I will finally uh, show you how to convert what you've learned so far into a uh, reversal exploit. With that said, uh, you keep decrypt. I will see you in the next video.